German-born Thomas Kramer, called TK, global developer and visionary entrepreneur, is credited with dominating Wall Street in the 80s, orchestrating the explosive renaissance of Miami Beach in the 90s, and initiating the expansion of luxury high-rise condo towers all across the world. After conquering the financial and real estate markets, TK now has his sights set on the next frontier. Even as a young man, TK's extraordinary ambition was obvious to those around him. By age 17, he had already made a million Deutsche Marks by trading options and stocks over the payphone at Germany's elite boarding school, Salem. But Thomas Kramer quickly became fed up with Germany's inefficient bureaucracy and stiff market regulations and decided to move to the United States, a land he saw as an entrepreneurial heaven where wealth and success are celebrated and not shunned. Oder was immer über mich als Erfolg dargestellt wird, ist nicht die Fähigkeit Geld anzuhäufen. Also das widerspricht dem Mythos des Millionärs. Nein, vielmehr glaube ich, dass es meine Fähigkeit war aus äh, Niederlagen uh, nicht nur gelernt zu haben, sondern wahrscheinlich stärker herauszukommen, wie vorhin eingegangen bin. From his trading on Wall Street, TK quickly grew into an international powerhouse in stock, currency and commodity trading with offices in Munich and New York. Ich verwalte ca. 50 Millionen Dollar für Dritte, hauptsächlich äh, Institutionen wie kleine Privatbanken oder reiche Privatpersonen, die äh, selbst nicht über das Know-how verfügen, in diesen hochspekulativen Märkten tätig zu sein. In Oktober of 1987, TK famously predicted the market crash and raked in 100 million dollars in a single day. The German press instantly dubbed him the Wunderkind of the global financial markets. Wow! Oh. Hey, 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 hey. How much? Up 70. By following his uncompromising instincts and shrewd insight into the world's various markets, TK wrote the next chapter of his success story. TK's shift towards real estate development came after having a disagreement with Donald Trump about the layout of high-end condo buildings. Considering large kitchens and big bathrooms as essential for luxury living, he decided to venture into trend-setting real estate development. TK's eureka moment came as he flew over Miami Beach with Eddie Trump, the creator of Williams Island. Fifteen years ago it was slums, it was nothing, and um, I decided to uh, make my big development move here. Thomas Kramer instantly realized the rundown area's enormous development potential by noting important similarities with Battery Park Plaza, the southern tip of Manhattan. He had watched Battery Park blossom from a landfill into a metropolis from his trading office on the 102nd floor of the World Trade Center and vowed to do the same with Miami Beach. I think the potential of my is best. It's unbelievable and uh, not yet discovered. You know, you have to see not only the cost factors, but also what's going to make living in the future achievable. And it's not only money terms, it's also life standards in the sense of good weather, great environmental situations, no pollution. TK envisioned transforming the dilapidated Miami Beach city center back into the world-renowned tourist destination it once was. Mm -hmm. 
By the time Thomas Kramer came to Miami, the original city center of Miami Beach had decayed into a slum with abandoned warehouses, boarded up properties, and was occupied by leftover criminals from the Cuban Mariel boatlift in 1982. But driven by his original vision, TK bought up as much land as possible, tore down the remains of old buildings, and soon became Miami's largest single investor. In addition, Kramer purchased 16 of the 20 existing homes of neighboring rundown Star Island, envisioning a spillover effect from his redevelopment efforts. Looking past the dilapidated area in front of him, TK saw land with enormous untapped potential. You got an unbelievable environmental surrounding. You have no smokestack industries that pollute the air. You have no overpopulation. And you have um, 340 days a year sunshine weather. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Situated in an incredible strategic location between tourist attractions and America's biggest harbor, Miami Beach has easy access to Miami International Airport after TK spearheaded the expansion of MacArthur Causeway into a full-scale highway. By replacing drawbridges with modern alternatives, TK shortened the travel time from up to two hours to 10 minutes. This is the Channel 4 News Nightcast. I mean, a brainstorming session tonight at Joe Stone Crab on South Beach Redevelopment. To turn his dream into reality, Thomas Kramer hosted a historic design workshop known as the Miami Beach Charette in June of 1993, inviting the world's 11 most prominent architectural firms to develop master plans for Miami Beach's bright future. The amount of land that Mr. Kramer has put together is, is very large and in a very prominent position. Well, I think this is an important project for Miami Beach because uh, it is bound to shape the image of the city. It is the most prominent uh, real estate, the tip of the island, and, uh, and because of its scale, uh, it will tell a story about what Miami, Be what Miami Beach is all about. If I were here, I'd come away with the feeling that this is uh, not only a dream site, but actually can be realized in a, in a very fantastical way. After six days of innovative discussion among architects, business owners, politicians, marina experts, city planners, and concerned citizens, Miami Beach was ready for its most spectacular facelift. Welcome everyone to the final presentation of the South Point Charette. Throughout the whole planning and subsequent development process, Kramer welcomed input from the community of Miami Beach. The openness of this process, that is the, the, the willingness to allow people to have input, I think is, is, is extremely important in today's society. TK promised to initiate an incredible revival, while at the same time preserving the Art Deco beauty of the area. Two major developers are planning to merge to bring casino gambling to the Sunshine State if Floridians are willing to roll the dice. In 1994, TK raised the bar of his development efforts even higher by teaming up with Las Vegas casino king Steve Wynn to create the world's biggest casino on the southern tip of Miami Beach. But TK's grand idea died, as it failed to get state voters' approval, which was necessary to change the anti-gambling laws in Florida. Nonetheless, after 14 years of epic struggle with politicians and millions spent in legal fees and revised plans, TK's initial vision has today become reality.
It's bustling South Beach, but it's not. All right, you better get used to the location south of 5th because that's the ritziest address in town. Portofino Tower provides a spectacular panorama of South Florida. This right here is Penthouse One. For two and a half million dollars, you get quite a room with a view. The views are magnificent. You have the Fisher Island and the, the Atlantic Ocean here and then up the beach on this side from Miami Beach. And on this side, you have the whole Bay of Miami that lights up at night. Miami Beach's South Point is synonymous today with luxury living and sophistication. This is Kramer Alley, South of Fifth, all my towers. My first tower was the Orange Tower in the middle, Portofino. My second tower was a very colorful on the left, Yacht Club in Portofino. And the first new building in over 40 years in this whole neighborhood was a very colorful building on 405 Washington, the one with the red tower sticking up. In addition to housing some of the most affluent and exclusive condominium buildings ever built in the United States, Miami Beach also boasts some of the world's hottest nightlife, shopping venues, and the city's finest dining. From his incredible foresight and unshakable belief, Thomas Kramer proved to be a major global developer by changing the skyline of one of America's premier cities into something truly spectacular. TK's next challenge is to transform the shopping of the future into 3D virtual retail malls by incorporating the potentials of entertainment, computer gaming, and the World Wide Web. In addition, the marketing of Kramer's exclusive product line utilizes his extensive social media network and his successful global TV exposure. His recent appearance on The Real Housewives of Atlanta marked the show's highest watched episode ever and the network saw a 15% jump in viewers. So I hope you like it, girls. This is the famous Star Island. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having Cheers. us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Cheers. To the hottest girls from Atlanta huh? and the wildest party on Star Island. Now we, we can celebrate. <laughs> His luxurious 30,000 square feet five-star island mansion is Miami's hottest event and rental venue, offering hotel-like service and is also available for media productions. TK is also open to future joint ventures to develop high-end jet-set hubs around the globe. For more information, check out his website, as well as his interactive blog, which features uncensored reports, exclusive photo and video footage of TK's daily life. Party in progress. Come to my home.